When the Ford Mustang Shelby GT350 debuted in 1965, it quickly became a huge track success. Now, it competes both on the track and in the car market, rivaling cars like the Corvette Z06, Camaro Z01, and Dodge Challenger SRT. The idea for the Mustang Shelby was born in the summer of 1964, when Ford tried to enter the popular new Mustang into the Sports Car Club of America racing series. The SCCA denied the Mustang entry, so Ford went to Carroll Shelby of Shelby American to have him work with the SCCA to get the Mustang race ready. Carroll Shelby had founded the Shelby American Car Company in 1962 and had already had success in the SCCA races with his Shelby 289 Cobras. Shelby contacted the SCCA and it was suggested that he remove the rear seats of the Mustang, add larger brakes, improve the suspension, and increase horsepower. In addition, race rules required 100 of these new Mustangs to be built by January of 1965 since the car was being entered into the production class of the race series. As a bonus, Shelby American was allowed to take some of the production cars and modify them even further for the races. Either the engine or the suspension and brakes could be upgraded. Shelby decided to upgrade the suspension and brakes instead of the engine on the new racing versions. This meant that there were now two different Shelby Mustangs. The production model required by race rules and the racing version with upgraded brakes and suspension. Since he had only five months to build the 100 cars, Shelby quickly got to work. With the help of project engineer Chuck Cantwell, Shelby American managed to produce a race-ready Mustang, boosting horsepower ratings to 306. The production Shelby Mustang was named the Ford Mustang Shelby GT350, supposedly because the Shelby American office was 350 feet from the shop. Around 37 of the production cars were further modified for the races and renamed the GT350R. The GT350R went on to win the overall championship in the 1965 season, and again in 1966 and 67. It beat out Corvettes, Ferraris, Aston Martins, and more, dominating its class. In 1966, the Hertz Rent-A-Car Company purchased 1,000 Shelby Mustangs, mostly painted in black and gold. These were rented out for $17 a day and helped both Hertz and Shelby to gain popularity and publicity. In 1967, Shelby added the Mustang GT500 to the lineup with a 355 horsepower V8 engine. Car and Driver Magazine declared a 6.5 second 0 to 60 for the car and estimated a top speed of 128 miles per hour. In 1968, production of the Shelby Mustang was continued by Ford instead of Shelby American due to new management changes. With the new Ford president taking over in 68, as well as the introduction of the Mustang Boss 302 a year later, production of the Shelby Mustang was halted in 1970. Once again due to management changes, Ford began another relationship with Carroll Shelby and Shelby American in 2006. The Ford Shelby GT500 was brought back in 2007 with a 500 horsepower V8 engine. The GT500 and the GT350 both feature the Shelby Cobra logo, a derivative of the symbol that originally appeared in 1962 on the Shelby Cobra. The name Cobra supposedly came to Carroll Shelby in a dream, and he knew it would be perfect for his car. In 2008, Shelby American again began to modify Mustangs, this time Mustang Shelby GT500s. Shelby took GT500s and upgraded them to 540 horsepower, renaming the car as the GT500KR. After a brief stint in 2012, the GT350 officially returned in 2016, packing 220 more horsepower than when it had originally debuted, for a total of 526. According to Car and Driver magazine, the car can go 0-60 to 60 in 4.3 seconds, and has a quarter mile time of 12.5. Car and Driver also estimated that the car has a top speed of 175 miles per hour. The new GT350 still features a V8 engine, just like the original way back in 1965. The Ford Mustang Shelby GT350 has a history almost as long as its name. Originally engineered for racing in 1965, it was put out of production only five years later. It returned in 2007 and is once again bringing track-worthy performance to the street.